Hello everyone, welcome to Sanology. I am Sanaz and today I want to show you how to make um, a body lotion. Uh, this body lotion is amazing to keep moisture and water inside your skin, especially in dry weather of winter. Uh, but my formulation have three most important points. One of them is mild emulsifier. I use emulsifying wax or powder wax and if you want to have only one emulsifier, emulsifying wax would be your only choice. Because this emulsifier is compatible with almost everything. So you can use it with almost all ingredients in your formulation. In working with that, it's so easy. Um, so I use powder wax for my formulation. The other uh, point for my formulation is um, reducing the soaking effect or whitening effect when you apply products on your skin. Um, so uh, this problem happens when you don't formulate your, uh, your product in a good way. Um, so it takes lots of time to absorb uh, the, the products and ingredients into your skin. To avoid this problem, we have two tricks. One of them is to add um, silicones that are diameticone and cyclometicone or natural alternative of cyclometic and diameticone. And the other trick is to use low HLB emulsifier as your second emulsifier. Um, so I use actually two tricks. These two tricks in my formulation works amazingly. And I will show you at the end of the video, a demo that you can see how fast the product absorbs in my skin and there is no you know, soaking effect or whitening effect. Um, the other point for my formulation is a kind of amazing humectant that I use in my formula. I will let you know that what was this amazing um, humectant that I get familiar with that recently and definitely I will make lots of formula with this humectant because it, it's amazing to keep all the moisture and water inside my skin. So let's make it. Let's start with our uh, water phase. For the water phase I use uh, 500 uh, milliliter beaker and I start to uh, have water in my formulation. So I add 44% water that in here is 44 grams and then I add glycerin. Glycerin is in a, a high actually percentage which is 10% in my formulation. And then I add aloe vera juice. Uh, aloe vera juice coming by 10% uh, in my formulation. Then I add propanediol. Propanediol is 5% in this formula. Uh, this one is really good and good moisturizer and also a uh, homework time for the skin. And then I add uh, DL pantenol. Pantenol uh, in this uh, formulation is only 2% and it's uh, also again homectan and uh, it's good for almost all the formulation that you make it. Uh, I use it in almost all my formulations. Now it's time to start with our oil phase. So for the oil phase, I'll start with uh, citric acid. So uh, this citriaco is our thickener uh, that it doesn't have actually really, you know, uh, um, greasy effect on the skin. So it's really good if you use it in your formulation. And then I add my Polavax. So as I said, Polavax is a complete emulsifying wax and it's a great emulsifier that you can use it for almost all of your uh, formulation. And for the citriaco, it was 2% and for the Polavax, um, percentage was 4% in my formulation. Then I add my oils that I are apricot kernel oil and, and the apricot kernel coming by 5% in my formulation. And then I add safflower oil uh, that is 6% in the formula. You can choose any oil that you want, it just depends on you. And then I add uh, shea butter. Shea butter is 2% in my formulation. You can also use the solid form of shea butter. I only had the you know, liquid form. It doesn't matter what kind of shea butter you want to use. And then Gelisteria Stara. This is our low HLB emulsifier. The HLB is almost uh, five, I think. And it's uh, help us to reduce soaking effect or whitening effect if you add it to your formulation. This one is also actually um, a complete emulsifier itself. So you can also use it um, 
alone in your formulation and uh, it has a great thickening effect. And now it's time to weight our water phase again and write down the weight uh, because um, after we put it in the um, hot water, definitely some kind of water evaporate and we have to uh, again add those water that we lost. So now actually I cover these two beakers and put them in the um, hot water and um, I just uh, let them to stay in the banmari for almost uh, 30 minutes. So okay, after uh, I wait more water for it, I actually need to add some uh, water that evaporate for that and then I add uh, my water first to the oil phase. Um, and after I actually mix these two phases together, I use my stick blender in the high shear um, and then I will show you how will be the uh, lotion. After we mix it for a while, almost two minutes, you can see it's uh, still runny and it is still too hot actually. So uh, I just uh, leave it for 10 minutes and then again um, uh, actually using my stick blender and I will show you what would be the result. Well, in here I have the lotion completely formed. It's completely thick and everything is really ready, ready for our uh, cool down phase. And yeah, we just can start our cool down phase. Okay, for the cool down phase, it's better to check the uh, temperature. When it is below 40, um, we can start our cool down phase and add our ingredients that are sensitive to the heat. Um, I add a uh, diameticon as our silicone. That was one of the tricks that can reduce the soaping effect or whitening effect. And then I add my honey quad. Honey quad is that amazing, um, actually, homectan that I said. And it's amazingly keep moisture and water inside the skin. Uh, and it can actually uh, help the skin to uh, be hydrated for more than 24 hours. And then I add uh, liquid derma plus and liquid derma plus coming by 0.5% in my formulation. Vitamin E is another ingredient, ingredient that I added in my cool down phase and it is 0.5% uh, in my formulation. Now I'm starting to add my essential oils. Uh, I use uh, tangerine and lemon. Uh, you can use anything that you want, but tangerine actually give a, a really amazing smell to my formulation. It's also give amazing um, yellow color. So this color is really lovely with a sense of you know, citrus smell. Um, so yeah, it's, it's uh, great if you wanna add it to your formulation. And now you can mix it, it's better not to use those you know stick blenders because definitely you will have a very very thick formulation at the end so um, you can stir it by hand and yeah it's, it's so amazing time to package our formulation I actually use this uh, 50 gram um, container and you can use any container that you have in your hand and uh, yeah you can actually package it and uh, the, the color is so nice I really like this yellowish color for my formulation Now, let me show you a really quick demo to see that how fast this cream absorbs. We don't have any soaping effect or whitening effect. And yeah, we made this tangerine body lotion. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it.